Hi guys, welcome to Make It Look Easy. My name's Nat Tucker. I want to have a bit of a chat about necklaces and oversized tees. If you're not someone who enjoys tucking your t-shirt yet, there's some other little things that you can do to help add some curves so you don't feel too swamped in that t-shirt. Because you all know I like you to buy them bigger and I like you to manipulate them into adding curves, all right? Now the first thing we have to do, the oversized tee I have on today is higher in the neck. So it's higher than my face length. So we first of all have to correct the face length or give ourselves a fake neckline, okay? So without this little guy on here, who is exactly my face length, um, if I pull him back over to here, so we can see my t-shirt is really high up um, towards my face, uh, putting me out of balance. So as soon as I give it a fake neckline by popping that there, I'm balanced. My face is now balanced within my body, within my clothes, within the rest of me. So having that little guy there is just wonderful for doing that. Now if I wanted to add more curve, I would put a necklace at my rib cage, so just below my bust, to bring your eye definition in to giving me a lovely hourglass shape. Okay, so I could actually wear this necklace alongside this necklace to add that curve. So I'll pop that on. There we go. So we've got a double curve happening. So we've correct the neckline. We're giving some shape with the two there. So that's a double header, which is wonderful. Now, even if you don't want to wear the both together and you just want to wear one, even just wearing one, even if it's not correcting your neckline up here, it is still going to draw the eye down, giving more balance. So if I were to move both of those, we've got the high neck there, put them both back down. So we've got the curve added here, taking away our swamp. A big old swampiness that we feel with an oversized tee and correcting our neckline here. Now these guys work really well together because I've gone for the same kind of strength in the neck chain. All right, so I've made them about the same kind of weight and into um, so they kind of look like they go together there. So that works. But I want to show you another collection I've got um, that we could also do this with. So this is a dark. This is my darker. This is what I'm adding my, my bit of dark. So I'm just going to take them off, pop them over to the side. There we go. So face length and a rib cage length. Pop them over there. So now I'm going to start with the face length on this little light guy here. So he comes in a few lengths, so I can shorten him as well when my top is too low. But we're going to correct the neckline and give it a whole new look. Here we go. It's so hard to do up your necklaces when, you, when you're not looking in the mirror. And my fingers are always so clumsy. There we are. All right. So that's, where, that's us connecting the neckline. A bit of a lighter look here, so I've gone much lighter. And then... Um, if I wanted to add the rib cage to give me more curve, I can put on this little guy like that. So there's a double header. Now, what I've gone for here is I've made sure these guys have a shape in common. So we've got the two shapes there, even though this one is silver and this one is rose gold in the chain. They're the same weight, but one is silver and one is rose gold but the item in common is the little pendant on there. So that makes that into a set if I was to wear those together. Whereas my other little guys are the same color chain with different pendants, so that makes them into a set as well. All right, so that's something you can give a try. Um, if you think you've got two pieces that can be worn together, one correcting the neckline and one adding curves on your oversized tops, have a go and please let me know if it works for you. All right, guys. See ya.